Okay, this is Pushback's case tooth number 29. This is the side he did the gentle waves on. If you recall from his presentation, we're going to do the lower second bicuspid tooth number 29. And that's what the periapical radiograph looked like. And when you look at the cone beam, you get some sense of the anatomy uh, of that tooth. It's wide open. Of course, it tested vital, as Pushpak mentioned. And the diagnosis page was unremarkable. And his treatment, he used a, uh, a 20 file. Uh, it was vital upon entry. He took it to the terminus. And his notes say that he used anesthesia in a gentle wave. This is what the tooth looked like occlusally. That's his access. And I received the tooth in formalin. That's the tooth as I got it. We cut the crown off. That's our radiograph of the tooth before we sectioned it. And when we sectioned it and split it into two sagittal sections, there looked like to be quite a bit of pulp still uh, a present. That's the hydrated. And this is it compared to the dehydrated section. So we're going to look at several areas here. This is what we call side two. We're only going to look at side one because they're pretty much the same. And if you notice there, there's a little uh, area of dentin still over the pulp. So we took a scalpel and I just chipped that uh, area out to expose uh, the pulp. We're not going to look at uh, a lot of the pulp because it's just pulp tissue, but we're going to look at the dentinal wall. When you go into the site, uh, pick the proper tooth number, tooth 665, go into the SEM, double click, and bring it up. And now we're going to look at the 30x stitched first. When you double click on it and go in and actually look at this, uh, you can see uh, obviously some pulp still present, but we're interested in the dental in the wall. Um, the effect of the gentle wave on the dentinal wall. And when you go into it, you can see it's pretty much been, uh, the mineralization front has been demineralized. Uh, in most areas, there is some uh, debris or perhaps pre-dentin still present, but it has that gentle wave look, uh, incredibly clean, mostly uh, demineralized uh, down to the mineralization front. Uh, but as in uh, the upper tooth, uh, a lot of pulp tissue in the apical uh, aspect of, of the root. When you go into area one collage, where we can look at different powers, uh, the area that we're looking at is more coronal. So we want to get a sense of uh, what the general wave does in that area. So we've outlined that for you. And when you actually zoom in at the different powers, you can see an area where the is, hasn't been completely demineralized, um, but mostly the dentin has been demineralized and the dentinal tubules are, are open and uh, patent. Uh, some pre-dentin still present, but not very much. Um, so as, you, as the other samples showed, there is a distribution of the demineralization. It's not totally uniform every single place you look, uh, but there, there is very little pre-dentin. Uh, there, there you can see the distribution. There's pre-dentin, there's demineralizing mineralization front, and then there's completely demineralized dentin. Um, so there's a, there's a distribution of effect uh, of it. There you can see some a red blood cell, some pre-dentin present. There's an econocyte in the process of being formed. So it's worthwhile spending some time in going through these sections. Um, now when we look closer to the dentinal wall where there's still pulp tissue, um, you get pretty much the same uh, appearance. Uh, so where it's effective, it's very, very effective. Uh, completely demineralized mineralization front, very little instrumentation debris, almost no pre-dentin present. And uh, when you actually look at the dentin, uh, it looks to me like most of the peritubular dentin has been demineralized and you get a sense of the collagen within the dentinal tubule. So where it's working, it's working uh, very, very well. Uh, but the problem, obviously, is that there was still quite a bit of pulp left. 
even given uh, pushbacks uh, instrumentation protocol. So uh, those are the two cases with general wave. Next, we're going to look at the uh, photonic cases.